as therapists, if you want to treat somebody with narcissism or narcissistic personality disorder, you have to be ready to go through a long phase of being devalued, being criticized, being told you're stupid, either explicitly or just through the you know, attitudes that are communicated. And you have to absorb and accept that because that's the person's reality. People with narcissism have one particular modality in their mind about what the relationship with another person can be. Superior, inferior. Who's on top, who's on bottom. They don't know mutuality. They don't know commonality. So they expect that you, like most other people in their life, because of an unmanaged counter-transference, you're gonna start defending yourself. You're gonna start, uh, you know, I'm not so stupid, or you know, maybe what you said was wrong. And that kind of reinforces the individual's idea, oh, everybody's only about who's on top, who's superior. If you can absorb the aggression, if you can show that you're not gonna retaliate, you don't say anything, you just let it happen. The person usually, in a kind of subliminal way, begins to think, hey, this is kind of different. You know, maybe there's something here that I'm not aware of. Maybe there's a way to connect that isn't all about imposing one's superiority and being aggressive and critical. And then, after it's begun to be felt, you can begin to think about it and talk about it together. What drew you to this kind of work? Because you do, and, it, and you have to be patient. It's a long, I mean, this is not, it's not fast, these changes. So you, and you have to be an optimist, kind of, I think. I think so, too. I think you have to believe in the potential of people. And maybe it's just my personality style or disorder, if you will, because sometimes my patients kind of catch on. And I've had more than one patient say, I got you. You're trying to make me think that people can be nice. You know, you know we've, it's quite clear that I expect that if I get close to anybody, I'm gonna get hurt, I'll be abandoned or made fun of. And you're trying to make me think a relationship can be positive and warm and rewarding. Maybe you're the one with the problem. Maybe you're the one in the illusory world. And when they say that, sometimes I think, hmm, possibly. But, you know, if I have to make a choice, I'd rather believe in the possibility of goodness in people. I mean, you see it all the time in spite of everything that's happening in the world.